the the song and still say that it's still a beautiful song. Oh though. yes, very. That, something about the song. That's that highway song. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a highway put it song. On when you're on the highway. Yeah, put that little crack in the window. You don't yeah. want the hair blowing. What's good, y'all? It's the Doom Shots React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today, we'll be doing a first time reaction to Duran Duran. Yes. We're super excited to get into this video, guys. But if you're new to us and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit that red subscribe button, and turn on the post notification bell. Without further ado, let's get into this video. <laughs> Child, this song is as old as me, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything with some nice drums in the yeah. back sounds really good. I love that. It's a nice beat. I like the tempo so far. Mm. I'm mm -hmm. loving the vibe it gives. It, yes. it, it gives me atmosphere vibes. Yeah, it's you know what giving I'm me like a neo soul lounge. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's taking like you there. It's giving me like a, you know, picture this in y'all here. Y'all walking in, right? Mm -hmm. I got y'all a little cap to the side. <laughs> Hold up. You got your cap to the side, right? You got your little long dress on. I'm, I am i don't know why I'm laughing because I'm trying to picture, <laughs> picture us. Yeah. <laughs> But we walk in, you see the people at the bar, you know, hey, how you doing? And it's, it's just a vibe. Like I the feel lounge. like it's I feel like it's one of those lounges, nice yeah. and mellow and chill, but everybody in a tuxedo vibed out. Yeah, a tuxedo or a little jazz dress. Like a little jazz dress. Yeah. A little Kinda shingles like a at the bottom. Easy. I got it, I got you. Okay. <laughs> Her hair is so pretty. Mm hmm I love the diversity of the group. Yeah. At first, I was going. I, I I didn't know she was in the song. Yeah, I thought she was just playing the little. What she was playing violin. That's not even her singing, though, baby. That's a different lady. Oh, I that's think. a different person. Yeah, it's not like she got up and started singing. The song. Oh, okay. That's, well, well I'm wild. still trying to. First of all, you know, this is an old footage, so I'm still trying to see everything and see who's the band. Yeah. And who's the singers? Right. Alone himself, like he. I'm about to say he sounded really well. Yeah. And then she came together. in and backed him up like that with that little. Her, it's like, ooh, her voice is so airy mm -hmm. and thin, but it's so synced and loud at the same time. Yes. That's one of those, like, you hear, you, you put your, your ear on a, on a what, what you call them, a shellfish? Shellfish? Yeah, she got that shellfish mm -hmm. flow. Yeah, yeah, like the bottle to the sea. Yeah, yeah, like all right. So you're on the beach, right? You pick up a, a, a shellfish and you listen to oh, the clown. Oh, the, the wind the and wind. all that. Yeah, she got that type of vibe too. Yes, yes, but them two together, I just think that they sound so well together. Yeah, I like this song right here. They doing their thing. Uh huh. It'll take a little time. Uh huh. Might take a little cry to come undone. Take a little cry. Okay, what you getting out of this right now? He said it might take a little crime. I don't know about that part. <laughs> See, I, I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and say it like this. If he's talking of love, okay. then I understand. What you mean? You're a little crime. Yes, it may take you a little crime to get to the one. All right, so you got Fiona in the top, and you got Shrek coming and get Fiona. He got to beat the dragon. It may take a little crime. Oh, okay. Uh, Sorry uh, I had to use that one, but... A uh, dragon, okay. I could have used Cinderella or okay. anything. <laughs> that one All popped right. up. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Yeah. Who do you 
So I like that. Uh, who do you need? Who do you love when you come undone? Mm -hmm. Like, is he saying like whenever you're vulnerable, mm -hmm. whenever you're transparent, whenever you're available to you know to the to, to the people and the surroundings that surround you? Yeah. When who you, do you call on to? When you're at rock bottom. When you're at rock bottom. When your struggle is at its peak. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who do you call when you when you're come undone? Undone. undone? When you have nothing left to give? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you're pouring from an empty cup. Yeah. Ooh. And then he also said in his lyrics, stay wild stay and don't wild. blow with the wind, but be like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, go against the grain. Go against the grain. <laughs> go against the grain. I like it. Like a radio tune. I swear. It's a bar. Is it something real? All the magic I'm feeding off your fingers. Can I keep a thought up? I'm the sea. Can I believe you're taking my heart? Oh my mm. first of all. She faded herself out in the background. She's playing the background perfect. She is. She's doing her thing. Her voice, again, y'all, is just amazing. Like, she... This is a perfect duet. Whoever, like, these two individuals has perfected this crap right here. Perfectly mm -hmm. to sing this song. They doing it. They doing it. Like... Yes. These lyrics... It's deep. It really is. And it's like... We would, of course, have to restart the whole song for me to get everything. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it can go into so many different lanes. Like, you know, at first we were talking about love. Now we're talking about just being undone. It sounds kind of stressful. Mm -hmm. You know, it's... It, mm -hmm. I will make it all right to come undone. I will try. Such nice transitions in the song. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, I have to be honest. This song is going into a lot of different areas for me. At mm -hmm. first, I'm thinking that they're talking about love. Then I'm thinking they're talking about, you know, maybe their mental health. Now he's saying, hey, child. So I'm kind of, is this a song about mental health? Like, you know, honestly, I'm just being honest. I'm not a, a music expert. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just an analytical thinker. I'm I'm trying. It, it's it's just going to a lot of different areas for me. Any of these for me? Any of these? <laughs> no, it is because like I would get the drift of the song. I would, and then and then he would like that hook that chord that hook right there it, yeah, it takes it, you another place yeah and which is good yeah that's what i'm saying which is good because sometimes in songs you want to be able to travel with your emotions and right. the things that you're feeling because you don't want to be drifted into one one way and then you know and then you got a, a multitude of people that's listening mm -hmm. and then you don't know what they're thinking as well when they listen to this track right so when they hear it they may have something else they didn't want to pull from it too right but you know art is supposed to do that art is supposed to do that we're that's supposed to have yeah. different perspectives regardless of what the artist made the song for mm -hmm. we're supposed to have different perspectives of when we listen to something or when we go to a museum <laughs> And we're looking at art. We're supposed to, it's supposed to resonate with us, with our experiences, you know. So for me, that's what it's what it's doing. And then look at the time frame. Like this is yeah. years beyond our birth, right? So no, th this is my birth year. <laughs> <laughs> this is my birth year. And then it probably wasn't even around the month of your birth, okay? Right, but right. I'm just saying though, like the music back then had so much more emotion pour into the lyrics then right. I, I'm, I'm not gonna say then they do now because people do, today they still pour the same yeah, amount of emotion like, but the 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 corporations that's behind them help them you know uh uh 
level it out. They make it go down a lane where people can get more of an understanding of what the music is meant to be for. Right. But back in the day, I feel like they got on the mic and they just went off. Like. And then, I'm sorry, I cut no, you off. No, 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 okay. they went off though. Then you have to think about the time that this was in. This was the 90s. Yeah. So we're Again, coming yep. fresh off of that, you know, the when Neo Soul was first, you know, really, really pushed Well, she's giving out. me that vibe mm -hmm. too. And the hippie times and... Um, you know, this was a season of life where a lot of people, when we're talking about life, a lot of people in our generation, mm -hmm. um, not just our generation, but the people that's living right now, they always talk about the nineties, you know, like the sixties that was, that was struggle, you know, the seventies, they was coming out of that struggle. The eighties, they were redefining themselves after coming out of that. And the nineties was just such a free period. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's why I feel like the emotion of a song back in the day has so much more mm -hmm. avenues and, and, and alleys that you could take in whenever you're listening to it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because they do come from such a period. Right. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's what music should always be about. Like always. when you're pouring yourself it's into to be it. Timeless too. Yeah, oh yeah. That's the classics. Yeah. That's the classics right there. That's such a true statement. Yeah. You can't keep yourself from falling apart. If I if I had a, a dollar for every time that I was able to keep myself, it regardless of what part of me keep myself together, I mm -hmm. would be a millionaire already. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like there's so yeah. much vulnerable spots in every person's life that they try to hide, but they fall apart. Right. Whether it's in front of you or behind closed doors. Right. Um, and back to the lyrics. They kind of <laughs> resonate with what you said. Again, like, I'm trying my best to understand the song. Because it just seems like each verse was about something different. But yet, the chorus will bring it back together to being the same thing. Who do, who do you need? Did it say who do you need? Who do you love? Who, who do you, you love and who do you need when you come undone? When you come undone. Who yeah. do you love? So I guess, you know, when you're having like those vulnerable moments and you're wanting to, you know, just give up, end it all. You got to think about who loves you, who, who you love. And you got to think about who needs you and who you need. And what about those people who don't have anybody? It's just, I don't know. Like, no. like you see, I'm thinking... It, I it's making know. you think because of the lyrics, but mm -hmm. as well as the song, it don't have a point. Yeah. Like, like That's if we, specific. like if if we knew the background of this, because again, you guys first time reaction. So if we knew the background behind the song, behind what it um, motivated the song. Like we would know much more about it and how mm -hmm. we can really, you know, make comments on it. Yeah. But we just pulling stuff. Yeah. We just pulling stuff. Yeah. Well, not just pulling stuff. We're really. Well, we pull in what yeah. we think, we, what we believe is Yeah, our be, perspective. Yeah, we pull in from our perspective, not what we did research on, because we don't right. know. It's our first time reaction. So, right. again, I think the song sounds really, really well. And yeah. I'm going off of the lyrics that I can really, you know, comment off of. Mm -hmm. And for the other ones, I'm still, like, just sitting back trying to really get the really? whole track. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get the mold of it. Like, yeah. what is it about, you know? Yeah, again, like I said, I think it's... <laughs> I think it's about a lot of things together like i said mm -hmm. the chorus just seems like it's bringing it all together yeah yeah <laughs> I wanna make this I wanna make this comment before Lamia get on get on the stage. But overall you guys, you could hear 
the the song and still say that it's still a beautiful song. Oh, though. yes, very. That, something about the song. That's that highway song. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the highway put it all song. Way on the highway. Yeah, put that little crack in the window. You don't yeah. want the hair blowing t- yeah. too much. Well, you no, babe. Crack. Well, I'm picturing, I'm picturing the, the life's high with the, the arm out the window just driving. Mm, the cruise, <laughs> the cruise yeah. mobile. Yeah, it's a beautiful song, though, man. Perfect, bro. Yeah. This song just does it. It does it, and I hate it because I can't figure it out. But I, 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 I like I, I, it I though. I honestly think that we figured it out. We I did. Do. You think so? I, it's like it's giving me a love hate relationship because I like the song, but yeah. I'm trying to like, what is it about? You don't want to be wrong. I don't want to be wrong. Yeah, but bruh. that's okay. It's a first time reaction, <sighs> and that is what genuine reactions are all about. We're not supposed to know everything. But it sucks sometimes not knowing. Though. I know, but. <laughs> Man, first of all, I was not expecting her to come up front. Bruh. And when she came up front, she killed it. First of all, she looked like the Neo Soul era personified. Mm-hmm. Okay? Even her little moves. Her little dance moves. Like, this is the... This screams 90s. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah, man. And then she had that... that that the urges came out like that voice that she had. She transformed it. Oh, she got yeah. in front of the audience. She got a great She voice. knew what she was doing, playing the background and getting in front of the stage. Mm-hmm. Two different people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I gotta listen to this again. Yes, definitely. I gotta put this one back on repeat. I'm definitely, sorry. We're gonna have to have a little uh, session alone, you guys. Yeah, we're gonna have to go again. read some research on it and a lot. I like the song. I do. I feel like it's one of those deep songs that yeah. just, it's surface level, but. There's so much behind it, and I feel it. It's like, it's so much behind that track, so much g- generosity behind these words. Yes. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about that band, though. The band did it. The band did it. Yeah, I love the musicians. Uh, I love the transitions. I love everything. Let's continue this conversation in the comment section below because yeah. I would love to know. I would and I'm sure right Dion now. would love to know. I would start rambling. Yeah. Because <laughs> this song was different. Yeah, more about this group. More about the origin of this song. Just let us know in the comment section below. Like this video. Subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. Because we're on the road to 50. 50. Okay, and we cannot get there without you guys. All right, and we have enabled our super thanks if you would like to support our channel that way We'll see y'all soon. Peace